my friends, and welcome to the basement subnet of horror. I'm really excited about tonight's show. Tonight will be our, our second Horror House special. And this was made possible because we went to the Horror Hound convention and we taped a bunch of Horror Host interviews. We've got a gob of them for you tonight. We kind of just wandered around the convention. There's a lot to go through, so we'll get right to it. And by the way, uh, Count Sam Gregula from Gregula's Crypt in Chicago, a Horror Host as well, he was my interviewer for this whole event. And later on, we'll also have the Undertaker and his pals from 1966 with Tom Swicewood. You all know him. You're all big fans of his movies, I'm sure. Let's go off now with to Count Sam Gregula and our horror host special. Yeah, those horror conventions are crazy, aren't they? Oh, too crazy, too crazy. I like, I like it though because it's fun. Yeah. And you get yeah. to see a lot of cool stuff, and you get to waste a lot of money. Yeah. And but the most importantly is you get to watch monster movies. Yeah. Monster well, actually, movies. you know, there nobody's showing any monster movies. <laughs> no. That's what somebody needs in here. It's a big giant yeah. TV with a monster movie on it. Well, we had one, but they took it in the other room. Though. Are we showing a movie tonight? Are you showing a movie? Yeah, we might show it. We yeah. might show a, we'll show a movie. Can we show, show a movie? movie? Let's yeah. show a movie. Well, how about, let's show a trailer. All right. The trailer. Let's what take a good show? trailer. Uh... The monster of Piedras Blancas, the world's most shocking monster, stalks its unsuspecting prey, feasts its eyes on the next victim to writhe in its slimy arc. The screen's most nightmarish beast.
when the hearse rolls by that someday you are going to die. There's never been a devil like me. Here about. Yeah, yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> 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 she looks lovely lying there, doesn't she? I painted her myself. <laughs> Life is but a shadow through which we all must pass to reach that bright tomorrow. Yes, but she's so young. Why did you come to the city? Why couldn't you stay home with your mommy? Oh. 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 Let's go home, Mother. Wait. Let me kiss my baby. Oh. Uh, Mr. Lamb, may I talk to you a moment alone, sir? I've always found it best to give my bill at this time. It helps take your mind off your bereavement. Grief therapy, as we call it in the industry. $1,250. Well, it's not our best funeral, but I... $1,250. See, you've forgotten your grief already. You, you advertise $144.98, not $1,250. But, Mr. Lamb, you don't expect to get a funeral like that for nothing. Why, the silk in that box is worth at least $144. And then there's the hearse, and then there's the flowers. Now, the flowers are a big item, and then the... I won't pay any $1,250. Oh, yes, you will, sir. You signed a contract. Or at least your wife did. Didn't you, Mrs. Lamb? You're both horrible to talk about money at a time like this. I oh. earned my money, Mrs. Lamb. That girl of yours had her legs chopped off. How would you like to have to sew plastic legs on a cold corpse? Of course, I could have skipped the legs and uh, given her a junior length coffin. <laughs> that would have been more economical, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. If you could have seen her throat. <laughs> oh. You'll pay. You'll pay. Yeah, yeah. And my hair, do you like it better up? Yes, it's very nice. Harry, will you turn around and look at me? Come on, honey. I've got lots of work. Come on. Harry? What? Why won't you marry me? <laughs> Honey, I can't even afford me. 
But I'm going to jump out the window if you won't marry me. Hey, Employment Bureau, uh, would you uh, please send me over a new secretary? Yeah, I have one that's about ready to leave. Thank you. I hate you, Harry Glass. Man, but uh, horror conventions all over the country, it's the season. Go support your local horror convention and horror hosts right. like Captain Gregula. Yeah. You know, that would be Captain? a good one. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. the afternoon yeah. sci-fi host, know, right? Captain Gregula. That's why I don't have to be count right now. <laughs> <laughs> be a captain to a count. Or count ca captain. Captain, captain Greguloid. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> why don't you give a shout out to your website for us? Oh, uh, well, you can go check us out at monstermadhouse.com. It's on all the time. And right over here, we got Count Gore. Oh, yeah, get Count Gore in there. Get, get him in there. Get him in there. Yeah, him in there. Count Gore Duvall, countgore.com. This yes. guy is a legend. He's, you know, one of the... I'm a legend in my own mind. And he's still alive, too. <laughs> well, don't get don't start that rumor. I haven't been alive for a long time. Yeah, well, you just got inducted into the Horror Host Hall of Fame, didn't you? Well, even more so is that there is a Horror Host Hall of Fame. That's incredible. Yes. I mean, it's a long time coming. I mean, you go through in the end, and you have the High School Basketball Hall of Fame. Fame, the Grade School Basketball Hall of Fame, the Kindergarten Hall of Fame, and now we've got the Horror Host Hall of Fame. Yes, but it's at a Sheets in Wisconsin. Well, it's okay, you know. <laughs> anyway, hi. <laughs> Go do your thing. Where were you going? Uh, as you were. Okay. That's good, though. <laughs> Not bad. All right, that was a... We were just talking to Borloff and Count Gore right here in the uh, Horror Host room here at Indianapolis, Indiana, you know, at the Horror Hound Weekend. Go figure. Huh. Let's go take a look at some other things. Where's Marlena at? Oh, here she is. Here you are. I scampered. Hey, how you doing? You I scampered? Drink even. You I didn't a drink? spill it. Oh, what's in that? It's Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew, that's it? Yeah, I don't drink. You know that. Yeah, I know. Here, you know, tell us everything Hi. about you guys. That new I'm, Euro Sleaze. I'm from Midnight Mausoleum, and we have a naughty DVD called <laughs> Euro Sleaze. Um, you can only see this much unless you buy it. I'm going to buy one. <laughs> see? I'm buying one. It's a good seller. Look, look at Hi, Gregula. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Here, hey, hey, look at it. There's a, there's a transaction right in hand here. There's money and everything going around well, here. Well, at least you didn't try to put it in my shirt, so that's, <laughs> that's incredible. Why, has that happened before? Yeah, it has. Yeah. Why don't you give a shout out to uh, Gunther Deadman too? I heart Gunther Deadman. And then Count Gregula? And Count Gregula. <laughs> and Countess Gregula. Uh, I'm equal opportunity with the people I heart. Oh, uh, equal opportunity heart. That's so great. Well, give your website one more shout out here. MidnightMausoleum.com. That's right. Woo! Check it out. You'll see everything. See? <laughs> it's contagious. It is contagious. Here, here, come here, Roxy. Come here. Here, here come on. Give, give a little shout out for us. Come on. Shout out for what? For yourself or anything. Oh, anything you Roxy want to talk Tyler, about. Roxy Tyler. Roxy Tyler's Carnival of Horrors at Vimeo.com. That's V I M E O.com slash Carnival of Horror. My show's like destroying a hotel room and leaving. <laughs> That's what it's like. That's what happened this weekend, I think, right? Yes, yes we, did, we did a Marx Brothers segment upstairs on the third floor. We did oh, wow. the crowded cabin scene from a night at the opera. Wow, I hope somebody videotaped that so oh, I can we did. see it. We did. did. <laughs> 25 horror hosts in a tiny room. Wow, 25 horror hosts in a tiny room. No one killed each other. No, <laughs> and we all even fell out on top of each other in the hallway. Really? Yeah. Man, I got to see that. It's going to be on your show or on YouTube or something? It on the Monster Channel. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's where we're going to see it. Yeah. Man. You want to give a little thing for Gunther Deadman, Count Gregula, both of us? Yeah. Much love to Gunther Deadman and Count Gregula. Oh, see, that's wonderful. We appreciate it, Roxy. Great seeing you here at the, your first horror hound, hopefully not your last. Huh? I'm a horror hound virgin. <laughs> well, we took care of that this weekend, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you. We'll see you. The original version of Undertaker and his pals uh, was banned in some theaters across America, so they re-edited, recut the film, and then reissued it. Unfortunately, though, there doesn't appear to be any remaining original prints of this film. I imagine it was quite a bit gorier than this is. So, anyway, a little fact there for you. Now we take you back to the basement sublet of horror.
we're back now with more horror host interviews. Yes, there's a lot more to go here. Uh, let's just get right back to it. Here's Count Sam Greglia on the floor of the Horror Hound Convention, interviewing his brains out. Let's go. Victor. 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 Here. You're on camera. That's not going to look pretty. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll, he'll CGI you. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you doing? How are you feeling after all this crazy weekend again? A lot of partying. Yeah. Feeling great. Okay, yeah. How are you feeling? Really tired, but <laughs> but I figured this is the day to just get it all done and yes. said for, you know. Yes. Did you have fun for the most part, though, with you know, the way everything worked, the horror host of, you know, Hall of Fame, the oh, yeah. Zachary tribute, the oh, yeah. whole works? Yeah, it all went great. It was all beautiful. Shared a table with a couple good guys. You. Oh, thanks. Um, some weird guy, Butch Art Cleaver. <laughs> I know. And I've of heard course, Gunther Deadman was a great table mate. Yeah. Oh, all the stuff he printed out to let us oh, know what to do. I know. He's the best. I'm, if I share a table again with Next anybody, year, it's going to be Gunther. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's no doubt about it. No. There's no, no doubt about it. You know, because he's the best on organizing everything and like months ahead of time. We'd have been sitting on top of each other over there, <laughs> knocking each other over. Well, sitting on top of each other for something else, but you never. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what yet. You don't know what. You know, but why don't you give a shout out for yourself? Come on. I'm Victor Brown Scary from Fright Night Cinema. Wow! <laughs> give the website. Oh, www.frightnightcinema.com. That's it. That's, That's it. good. That's about all I got, too, buddy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and get that string closer yeah. up at the end. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, there's a fight going on already here. Let's see who's going to win this one. <laughs> Chuck the Clown versus Basement Boy. Who's going to win? Oh, he just points. Why don't you give these guys a little uh, bio about yourself here? A little bio about me, Chuck the Clown. First horror host to hit Seattle in over 30 years. That's important to know. Uh, Dr. Zinger was our last one, and he's gone uh, now, which is a shame. Uh, rest but, in peace. Yeah, please. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, let's see. I run the... Uh, uh, my show is called uh, Centering Cinema, see, and it's uh, run out of an old historic theater. It's an old vaudevillian theater in Seattle, Washington, and uh, you can see my show. The new season's filming right now. We're going to have that online soon, and I do all sorts of live events and uh, very, very colorful things like that, so it's going to be like, great big fun, and you should definitely come out and watch. Miss Corey Ray, Miss Corey Ray, come here, come here, yeah, while you're here. Yeah, look at that. Why don't you say a little hello here? Long story short. Cut my head off for being a witch. Some mad scientist got a hold of me. And next thing you know, I'm waking up on a table in the middle of some strange laboratory with this crazy, like, Scottish mad doctor. And I'm like, oh, no. No, I'm not back here, am I? And then I realized I was given a job. And the job was to be all alone in Canada and help the monsters, promote great films and stuff, but I'm all alone up there, and it's real lonely. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, it's real lonely. lonely. It's lonely. It's lonely. Oh, but you're not alone today, see? I'm not alone you're today, alone though. Today. No. And, uh, you're with a bunch of freaks oh, wait, today. Wait, can I have these in the background? <laughs> yeah. See, these, yeah, that's, that's even better. This is my family right here, and I love these people. If I, honestly, if I did not have these friends, I would have no friends. <laughs> Seriously, Aww. I'd have not one friend no. if I didn't have my family right here. So hopefully, for all you American viewers, just think, think of me up there in Canada all alone. <laughs> 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 Look at, look at the band behind us here. Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. There we go. Got it out of you again. Oh, man. You, you keep dying on us every time, don't we? I think I just swallowed my gum. This is the only body I got given. It's over 100 years old. Actually, it's going to be 100 years old. This body. And. 2013. 100 years old then? 100 years old in 2013. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> And there she goes. <laughs> the dangers of alcohol and drugs, folks. There's Gunga Jim. Gunga Jim. Gunga Jim. How have you Jim. been? Oh, I've been just fine. I am a man, I can absolutely say, of no convictions. No whatsoever. convictions ever. All acquittals. Wow. You're, How, you know, you must have a good lawyer. 
Uh, or your well, own lawyer. How have you folks been? Pretty good, pretty good. Thanks, boy. How are you, you enjoying, enjoying this? I was oh, just yeah. going to say, are you enjoying the Horror Hound weekend? Oh, yeah. It's just, uh, this is part due, I guess, or, you know, the second year now running. So. Oh, absolutely. This, I tell you, folks, if you haven't come to this, you really have to. It is the most spectacular, unbelievable event I have ever seen. And I'm a man who's seen a lot of things, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, I've been they to, know, they oh, know. Hey, I've been, to, I've been to Acapulco in Mexico a few times here. I've uh, seen some shows that you wouldn't believe. Yeah. This one tops them all, folks. So come on down to Horror Hound Weekend next time. We'd love to see you here. Got it. Hey, Dr. Calamari. Come on, let's get you on camera here. Yeah, we'll get something going here. I don't know what we're doing, but uh, let's shake something. Can I shake the tentacles? I don't know. Uh, well, I, well, I know you pretty well, right? Oh, thanks. Oh, see? Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. I've been there. I've been here, too. <laughs> I've been here all weekend long at Horror Hound. And man, am I digging it. Yes. Yeah. There are so many cool things, creatures, monsters, things from beyond known space and time yeah. here at this convention. Yeah. Why don't you promote that vampire tribute on DVD? Oh my God, you gotta check this out. Oh. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is hosting horror, the legacy of Vampira. That's right. This is a documentary that's got like 30 hosts, horror hosts interviewed in it about Vampira and about horror hosting and about the, the past, the present, and the future of where this medium is heading. And man, it's just awesome. If you love horror hosts, you're, you're just going to find so many different ones in here that one of your favorites is bound to be, and it might be Vampira. She sure is hot. That is great. Why don't, oh, you, yeah. why don't you promote Atomic Age, too, while we're here? Oh, I just might. Hey, look over here. Look at this stuff. <laughs> look, at this. look at this. Give us your money. <laughs> that is the motto of Atomic Age Cinema. Give us your money. They want money to go home. We have tons of stuff that you can purchase for cash. <laughs> remembering the friends, remembering the folks. I want to give a shout out out there to Gunther Denman. I want to say how, how, howdy to Count and Countess Gregula. Yes, indeed. Uh, great guy, great we, guy. Great, great people. Uh, great, just yeah. all around menches. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, I, that's Yiddish. It is, yeah. I'm, I'm not. We'll translate it for them. All know, right, please do. Give please them a matzo cracker, too. They'll, they'll figure it out. I don't know. I think they will. Well, just remember, <laughs> you have to uh, have a bit of spooky fun every now and again. Uh, something to really, you know, get off! <laughs> the boys do a great little business around here. You know, it do a lot of good in this place. A white tornado. You watch too much television. You have any better idea? Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh, hiya, Mr. Glass. Spike will be with you in a minute. That's what I like about this place, the service. Don't pay attention to Doc. His mind is elsewhere. Buried in those books they say he's always reading. There's nothing wrong with studying. According to the grapevine, he was kicked out of medical school because he was very, very weird. If you ask me what I think... I ask you what? What's Duncan Hines recommend in this food palace? Specialty of the day. <clears throat> What'll it be? I'll try the lamb. You'll like it, baby. My friends call me Anne. You may call me Miss Poultry. Poultry? As in barnyard? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny. Okay, chicken. I'll have a specialty spike. Give me two orders. Two orders of what? You didn't even tell him what we were ordering. We don't have anything else. Hey, uh, you read about that new murder? No, Sally Land? Yeah, yeah, that's a shame, a real shame. I don't know if that was her father who came in the office today. I like to read things like that. Paper shouldn't print that stuff. 
two specials, lamb's leg. What's the drink? I'll have coffee. I'll have a BM. Buttermilk. <laughs> What is this? Lamb. That's not lamb. Taste it again. Come on, baby. You taste it. Come on, honey. It's a bad joke. I'm sorry I brought you here. This joint would give Mr. Clean nightmares. Ah, oh, chicken. You give the place a bad name. You think so? Wait till I call the health inspectors. You wouldn't do that. Oh, no, wouldn't I? Later, later. Good night, Miss Poultry. <laughs> Yes, and uh, believe it or not, we've got much more for you. If you want to know anything about Horror House, tonight is a good show for you to watch. So anyway, we're going to take a break now, but we'll be back in a moment with more interviews. Watching the basement sublet of horror. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. I'm selling stuff. Selling stuff. He's he's the guy selling all this crap here. Oh yeah, it's going away fast. Uh, yeah, I can tell you. This is the second time you had to uh, stock the table, right? You know the best seller? The candy. The candy. It's free. <laughs> the free candy always goes first, doesn't it? Yes, yes. I'm a per people person. That's right. You can tell by the zippers, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a little bit too much of a people person. I got... So you just zip it up. Do you tell them to zip it up? Or do they tell you to zip it up? Uh, it's, it's really just a combination of what's best for everyone. It's a democratic process. Yeah. You can just see me only in the Monster Channel just chatting. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's the best way, I think. <laughs> oh, thanks, Basement Boy. We enjoyed this one. <laughs> uh, see you soon, I hope. Oh, you better. <laughs> in, in the basement. Uh, hi. Oh. Uh, I'm Darkest Jack. I'm the host of the Darkest Hours and Darkest Radio. Uh, you can find us on darkestjack.com. Uh, it's like the David Letterman show, but hosted Ooh. by yours, Ghoulie. Like yes, that. indeed. So we, we have bands on, we have interviews, we have like sketch that. comedy, and all kinds of madness. All kinds of madness. Madness. We love madness. Uh, well, who doesn't? <laughs> yeah. who would, you wouldn't be here if you didn't. No, I know. We'd be and mad not to be here. There is a <laughs> ton of madness <laughs> yeah. here. There are so many people. I and mean, it was just so amazing to see this yeah. whole demented, messed up family that is the horror host community <laughs> yeah. come together and, and just yeah. really, it was, it was awesome. It's it like was a awesome. Group. It's like a reunion for us because we did the first one and now the second one and hopefully there's many, many more to come. Well, we're vampires. There'll be a hundred more. Yeah.
Harry. Yeah. One of them was probably wearing this. Well, that doesn't give you much to go on. Makes the fifth murder we've had with these vicious mutilations of the body. But it's the first time there's been something to point us in any direction. There were three of them. We know their physical proportions by their boot prints. We know that they were riding motorcycles. And we know the kind of tires that were on the cycle. You can't go around checking every tire in the city. No, but we can send a description to all the shops. Come on, Harry, now you know the procedure. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just uh, want to make sure you catch them. Well, it'd help if you could tell us something. I've already told you everything. I don't know anything. Well, Ann didn't have any enemies, and she didn't hang around the motorcycle crowd. I can't really tell you much more. She only hated one guy, and that was me. And she wanted to marry me. <laughs> Crazy kid. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Harry. Me too. Well, if you hear of anything, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure. And I don't want you trying to take things into your own hands. No, no, I won't. Uh, but you will let me know if you hear anything. Sure. Thank you. See, I want to hang around here a while and look around. Okay. Okay. Who are you? Mr. March, your friendly undertaker at your service. Go away, Vulture. I, I don't need you. Oh, but you do, sir. Yes, you do. Whether you want to admit it or not, you can't do without me. Now, something has to be done. And since this poor dead girl has no relatives, and since you are, I mean, were her employer. How do you know? <laughs> it's my business to find out these things. Well, or you might as well handle it. What's the difference? Now you're talking. I do as good a job as anyone, and I don't mind saying that my services are far, far more complete. I handle everything right from the beginning to the end. Sign here. How much? $144.98. 98 cents? Well, this is a very competitive business. <laughs> There's no price on these contracts. Well, we do that. You know, sometimes there are a few extras. They don't amount to much. <laughs> well, uh, I'll just fill in. 144.98. No ups, no extras. Mr. Glass, you are making a terrible mistake. I'd better not be. Sorry, Mr. Glass. Gee, who'd have thought? You and her were just in here a few hours before. I'd sure like to get my hands on those bums. If you find out anything, you let me know. Me and Doc. Doc! Mr. Glass is going to get the guys that killed his chick. If he needs any help, we're going to go help him, OK? Uh, Spike. Yes, sir. Do you have a donut? Doc, we got any donuts back there? They haven't been delivered yet. Begin the operation. The scalpel... is used to make a deliberate cut. The cut should be no longer than necessary, and yet not too short, either. The cut should not be too short. <laughs> the size and shape of the scalpels vary greatly. But regardless of the variation, the scalpel should always be sharp. Who 
What do you want? I got your deliveries, man. Come on, open up. All right. How come you always lock this door? You afraid somebody gonna come in here and get you? Just put them down over there. What are you reading? Surgery. Oh, you're going to operate on people? Why not? Well, no offense, man. Say... How come you never order any meat? So much vegetables like lettuce and celery and onions and ketchup. Your company charges too much. Oh, not any more than anybody else. So why order from somebody else? Spread the business around, you know. Who do you order your meat from? That's none of your business. Why don't you just get out of here? I'm studying. You know, my boss will make a good price on all meat, all age. We serve fresh meat. Mm -hmm. You've been watching our Horror Hound Weekend Horrors special here on the Basement Sublet of Horror. A whole show with pretty much nothing but interviews with horror hosts. Yes, if you're a horror host fan, this is the place to be. We'll be back with more in a moment. Let's take a break first. Watching the basement sublet of horror. Hey, doctor, why don't you give these people a little lesson in your show? A lesson in my show. Well, it's a you know it's a, it's a horror whole show, the standard pretense. Except I, I do rant and rave sometimes, and I get real political. And I like to call a lot of idiots out. You know, if I see an idiot and they really offend me, then uh, they'll get a good tongue lashing. And you know, you got this is a good outfit you got. It's the third outfit I think I've seen, or is it a fourth outfit I've seen you in? Well, I sweat a lot, so they get stinky fast. <laughs> oh, you gotta have you gotta a few. Keep changing it up. <laughs> That was great when we did your uh, sidekick reunion back in February. It was fun. Well, we didn't have a lot of uh, the sidekicks. Some of them have passed on, and uh, other ones have moved on. And, you know, it was what it was. But, you know, yeah. sidekicks come and go. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, you know, and it, it just depends on how bad they snore and whether how long they'll be along. <laughs> well, you got one right here. You got uh, oh, well, dead present company, com you know, present company definitely yeah, included yeah. in that one, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Come on here, dead girl, get in here. Come on, talk, talk to these people. Speaking of snoring. There you yeah. Go. <laughs> I think you've been, you've been up too long, huh? Uh, what are you talking about? I don't sleep. <laughs> That's right. You should be, a, what is this, daytime or nighttime? I sleep enough when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's the time to sleep, right? Yeah. Now, how long you been working with Dr. D? Uh, a little over a year now. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, Boy, that long. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you paint a uh, picture of Zachary Lee this weekend, too? Uh, yeah, well, I didn't do it this weekend, but it was here at Horror <laughs> this weekend. Did somebody buy it? I don't see it. Uh, yes, it is. Left the, uh, it's not mine anymore. Oh, congratulations. That was great. It looked, it looked excellent. And I, my, for, for my last statement about Horror Hound 2011 and the horror hosting, and there's been a lot of sentimental feelings here and, you know, a lot of tributes to hosts that were deserving. But at the end of the day, I can only say, wig on, wig off, cryptosis. <laughs> I would think we'll leave it at that, won't we? What'll it be? 
Well, let's see. I think I'll have the fried shrimp. Sorry, we're out of fried shrimp. Or how about the specialty of the day? All right, give me the chicken. Uh, how would you like that order? I'll tell you what, instead of the chicken, give me a pie. A big piece or little? The whole pie. Do you have a box? Yeah, sure. Well, I came to pay my last respects. That's very thoughtful of you, sir. You are a very thoughtful man. Cut the sarcasm. I'd like to see her, please. She's behind the drapes, but... Uh, what? Remember, sir, you wouldn't let me add a few little extras. With a little extra, I could have restacked it with foam rubber. Remember, sir, it was you who said, no ups, no extras. Association doesn't approve of low-priced funerals, but when the needy need help, I always try to do what I can. Gratitude. That's what this world needs, is gratitude. Glass, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> I thought so. You know, my sister told me you were very handsome. I told her I was going to work for you. What kind of work do you do? Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> you tell me. I'm a typist. Oh. Well, am I hired? What's your name? Call me Friday. No, but what's your name? Friday. My sister didn't tell me you were hard of hearing. You're not one of those kooks, are you? <laughs> Silly. Do I look like I'm kooky? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think you do. Well, good. Now that we have that settled, do I get the job? No, uh, why don't you go downstairs and have some dinner, and when you get back, we'll talk it all over. Well, that's a very good idea. You got any money, honey? <laughs> you bet. Oh, you're a doll. Mm. See you later, boss. Club. Ha, ha. I'll have a hamburger. Don't have any. Well, I have a pain because I haven't eaten. Where's a pain? Hey, 
you have a pain? In her belly. Well, yes, but I... That's a room. Get the patient ready for surgery while I scrub up. Off. Oh, that's good thinking. You ready? My, my, my. What's wrong with her? Who knows? I'll explore. Scalpel. She's a fly. Get rid of it. What, you, what are you spraying her for? Germs. You didn't get rid of the fly. What is this? Deodorant. Check a respiration. Hey, okay. Nothing wrong so far. Isn't she beautiful inside? Where's the anesthetic? Everything was going so well, too. Right to the end. Pity. Well, at least my operating technique is getting better, huh? Can't win them all. What are we gonna do with her? rest of the girl in the back. Your cup 
couple of dirty double-crossers. Why? You agreed that I would get past. But we did this job alone. I could have used what you wasted. Remember, we specifically agreed that I could bury Doc's mistakes. I don't know what this world is coming to. A man can hardly make a living these days. No ups, no extras. What happened to your head? He shaved with it. Oh, shut up. I'll get sore. I'm sorry. I'm a little on edge with the end of the month coming and bills to be paid. We won't let you down. Don't worry. We'll help you. Tonight? Tonight. Hey, Captain Crypt. Hey, hey. How yeah. you doing? Oh, How you... Wonderful. Harry Hard Whorehound 2011. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. It looks pretty good. It's like 2010, only bigger. Yeah, a lot bigger. I mean, we last night, I mean, look at the award ceremony we did. Yeah. I mean, a very touching moment for whore host indeed. I mean, we, we gathered them from from all around the world to honor him. I mean, we yeah. started off with uh, Vampira and oh, God, ended yeah. it all with Zachary. Yeah, no, that was the best. I think uh, it gets bigger and better every year. I think. Hey, whoa, what's up, everybody? It's the Bone Jangler, that's right. And uh, I'm here with Count Gregula. What's going on? Nocturna, would you like to join us over here? Yeah. Moi? Yes. No, that's I'm already right. here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We had to come get you, even though you're standing here. Though. I mean, well, you know how it is. Now, you, you remember last year when we did this crazy thing? It was just uh, in another room, right? In that other room down that way. You know what? I kind of liked it in the other room. Talking about something totally different. What about that Gunther Deadman? Man, did that guy make a yeah, splash he here made or a what? Big splash. I, big splash. I'm glad. You know, my stuff's waterproof, man. I <laughs> got the blue suede hey, shoes. Look at the on. blue suede shoe. Oh yeah. Man, the true Elvis fan with blue suede how shoes. How about it, man? The, <laughs> the king. You know, right? Yeah, that is so cool. We know Gunther was our table mate the whole weekend. He's the best, one of the best table mates I've had. One of the best. Yeah, one of the best. What if he sees this? You mean he, he was the best? Well, he was That's the, best. the thing. You know, yeah. well, he's not watching this. Oh, he's not. No, he's not watching. Oh, he doesn't watch. No. Well, he that's watch. good. He won't know. It's he won't know what we say. Rip him good. <laughs> How do you deal yeah. with all these mortals, Greg? Well, you know what I do? I, I just uh, don't look at him in the eye. That's why. And you don't look at them at any eye. They don't go. They don't go after you. Yeah. You know, or you try and blend with them. So that's why I got the mortal makeup on. You know. You know, that's another thing too. These conventions. The cool thing is, Nocturna, They're always at night because yeah. there's so many of these damn vampires. Yeah. They can't. You know, they wouldn't be able to come. Oh. It's like integrity and, and creativity and originality. You know, it's a. Uh, it's a disappearing. Uh, it's going the way of the dodo bird. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think they are gone. So. Yeah. You're right. So get look them up at what. Where do they look you up at? Where do we look us up at? You can find <laughs> us at www.thebonejangler.com. Baby, we are you ready it. to roll? <laughs> ready to, yes, I'm ready to roll. Yeah, okay. All right, All right Count Greg, it's great talking to you. Oh, uh, As always, as always, it's a pleasure. Hey, if you see Gunther Deadman, tell him I said hi. Oh, we will. We All right. will. All right. <laughs> we'll see you. <ya. laughs> That's great. All right. Watching the basement sublet of horror. Let's just get back to it now. Here's Count Sam Gregula on the floor of the Horrorhound Convention with more horror host interviews. Let's go. How you doing, Mr. Lobo Dixie? Luckiest man at this convention today. Yeah. He's surrounded by women here. Right. I'm in an awesome sandwich. <laughs> yeah. It's a great sandwich, isn't it? Awesome sandwich. <laughs> How, how's Evel doing? 
Well, this has really been a wonderful weekend, and I've had a great time. So I've had a really terrific time seeing everyone, meeting everyone, and it's just been terrific. Uh, I know this is year two now that we're doing this. Can you believe this? Year two? Did you think it would go two years? <laughs> <laughs> Not in my wildest dreams. Oh, I know, yes, right? yes. It's, it's amazing. There's so uh, you know the the interest in horror hosts uh, recently. You know, uh, uh, this is something that came up uh, last night, or just dawned on me. Is like this is kind of the discovery of a new genre, really a genre that's always been there, but uh, it kind of was, was internalized by the fan. Like you grow up with your guy, you see them on TV, you don't think that there's other people doing it, right. you don't really think uh, uh, of it as a whole or as a style or as a, any or as an art form, and and uh, you know you've got all these amazing characters, all these amazing shows, and uh, you know all these different ways of doing it. You know you've got hosts on the internet, you got podcasts, you got radio people, you got uh, comic book people, you've got movies, you've got uh, uh, regular TV, public access, you know, and uh, so it's it's just, it's an amazing um, uh, tradition, uh, you know, but but it's something new, and it's something old, and it's something new. There's, there's so many varieties, I know, it's, that's what's good about it now with the internet, you can pretty much, anybody can, you know, pretty much put this together, and well, maybe not so successfully, but depends the people that you're working with mainly. Ask your doctor and find the horror host that's right for you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and that's directly from Mr. Lobo. And why don't you Not Dr. Lobo. <laughs> yeah, not yet anyway. Why don't you talk about the new horror host magazine you just came out with? Sure, Dixie, you want to say something? Dixie doesn't talk, but oh, okay. Dixie is, a, is our editor-in-chief at the uh, Horror Host and Creature Features uh, magazine. It's a lifestyle magazine as well as a trade magazine for professional creeps. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully maybe we get Evelle a chat in a future uh, issue <laughs> as, uh, you know, our, our pinup or, our, or, an, or an, even an article because we have, or both, because uh, we have uh, basically all kinds of lifestyle and uh, there's the, there's the, Thea Munster, our, uh, our pinup for uh, the first issue. Um, but we also have an interview with Count Gordeval. Uh, we cover Shock Theater. Uh, we cover uh, uh, Bowman Body. We cover uh, uh, we cover the passing of Dr. Creep, we, and we cover uh, a, a very large story, primarily about uh, Al Lewis, best known as Grandpa Munster, who had a stint as a horror host uh, for three or four years on uh, TBS, which was actually longer than he was Grandpa Munster on the Munsters. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and he's a very you know, trying to put a famous face. Uh, that can be appreciated uh, nationally and internationally in the world of horror hosts is very difficult um, because, again, it was so uh, primarily localized. You know, other than uh, Elvira, there aren't a lot of um, uh, internationally known uh, horror hosts. So we were lucky that for our first issue, uh, we were able to uh, score a, a relevant interview with uh, Al Lewis's widow, uh, Karen, and, and, and have him on the cover because uh, I think it's going to bring a lot of people into our world. Word Does the naughty word. vampire have something to say about this. Well, I think what you're doing is absolutely amazing to feature horror hosts because the horror host family, although we may be a dysfunctional family, <laughs> we have we have freaks and creeps and vampires and people with tentacles for faces and frog heads and you know, people that are blue and green and red and purple. The and whole rainbow coalition of uh, horror. And yet, we're all one big happy family, and we support and embrace one another. And uh, if you're not a part of our family, you're really missing out. That's right. I want to know about your hosting. So what movies uh, have you, have, what are your, some of your favorite movies that you've hosted? Well, I'm a big fan of vampire movies. I know that's nothing original or new, but... They that, work. That, people love vampire movies. Well, and I do. I was raised on them. Mm -hmm. By the time I was four years old, I could recite every word of Bela Lugosi's Dracula. I want to hear some Bela Lugosi Dracula right now. <laughs> oh, listen to them, the children of the night, what sweet music they make. <laughs> wow, I love that. So I, I truly was raised on them. I love them, and I love anything that features Vincent Price. To me, the absolute master of all horror movies, without a doubt. And I also like a lot it's of classy. The, I love I love all the classics. a champagne villain. You can't beat it. Well, he makes my heart melt every time I see him. Well, why don't you give your websites out while we're here then? Yes, uh, why don't you start? Yeah, why don't we start? www.night-frights.com right. no. uh, You have your choice. 
You can go to horrorhostmagazine.com. <laughs> Gotta speak up a little louder. Horrorhostmagazine.com. <laughs> Or uh, if you'd like to see uh, Cinema Insomnia, we have episodes streaming on live stream, uh, and you can you can jump off there from cinemainsomnia.com. If you like, if you if you got a DVD machine, which is really still the number one way to watch movies, I don't care what people are saying. Uh, you can get your DVDs at mrloboshop.com. Yeah. Not bad. Rose. I'm gonna stay in a little longer. Let yourself out. See you tomorrow, Rose. Now, you don't have to believe me, but I've made up my mind. I'm going to quit next month. You know what I'm going to do then? <laughs> I'm going to get married again. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I'm a three-time loser. But this time, it's going to work. What do you think about that? Tempest? Rep? I just want to let you know that we got a lead on the murders. One of them lost his license plate. Well, who's it belong to? The undertaker from Shady Rest, uh, Mr. Mort. Ain't that something. Well, you know him? Well, our men are going to pick him up. Say, maybe you can help us. Do you know who he associates with? No, no, I don't, but I'll find out.
happened to your license plate? I lost it. Where? I don't know. Don't bother me with things like that. Now, look at my neck. Oh, great. What? The cops will find your license plate, then they'll find you with a bullet hole. Our goose will be cooked. I'll have to operate. Oh, no, you don't! No! Get him up on the train! No! Oh, there's no time to operate, anyway. Why? The cops will be around looking for him. We'll get rid of him fast. Where? <laughs> the stoolie, please. No, he ain't here. Well, would you uh, tell him Harry Glass is calling? Oh. Hey, Charlie. Uh, listen, I need some information. Can you tell me who Mort, the undertaker, hangs out with? Guy Shady Rest? Just a minute. Know those two nuts who run the greasy spoon? Yeah. They're the ones. Thanks, Charlie. What a noise he made. He was a bad sport, if you ask me. Turn out the lights and let's be scarce for a while. Hours. I'm not Friday, Mr. Glass. Well, who are you then? The Queen of Sheba? I'm Thursday. Friday's my sister. We're identical twins. Where is she? Oh, why? Well, I, I don't know. I thought you did. That's why I've been following you. You know, Friday's a kook and uh, she needs a chaperone. Are you sure you don't know what's happened to her? Yeah, I'm afraid I do. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? Well, you're going home. Oh, but I can't. Why not? Well, I uh, told my mother I was spending the night with a girlfriend, but my girlfriend's out of town. Stay at my place. Well, thank you. Are you 
sure you're not Friday? Detective Jennings? Oh, Johnny, this is Harry Glass. I have some information for you. Sure. The Undertaker's pals are the two guys that had the cafe near my place. Are the Greasy Spoon? The evidence is inside. Where are the suspects? Well, they're out for the evening. Uh, they open up at 7 o'clock in the morning, so you can find them there then. Thanks. Friday about a strong, good-looking man, and off she goes. <laughs> you know, Harry, you can't be a playboy all your life. Girl must have hurt you, <laughs> but I won't. <sighs> Golly, the quarter to four. <sighs> I'm ready to turn in. Harry. You're sleeping. Hey, Harry, wake up. Harry!
happened? Right of gas. Oh, anybody but you and I wouldn't believe it. I'll be right back. Now all I need is a match. I'm sorry, Thursday. Those goons got your sister. Why, those dirty, rotten... Oh, I could just tear them apart with my bare hands. Two of them are dead. Mort's going to get his. I'll see
make them like Harry anymore. Well, it's finally over. I hope so. We don't need any unnecessary violence in this world. Nature makes enough of its own. Still a certain amount of evil always creeps in. And we must just strike it down. you enjoyed our second horror host special this time it was a lot more action-packed than last time we had a lot more host and actually well we have a really good resource the horror Hound convention and I'd like to thank all of the hosts every one of you for taking part in the interviews with our show I'd like to thank Count Sam Gregula for doing such a wonderful job of interviewing all the hosts and being my live correspondent I hope you enjoyed our show this is Gunther Deadman from the basement subject of horror well good night my friends